Okay, let's talk about user input or keyboard input uh, in the NCARSIS world. So there are two things we can um, we can uh, take as input from a keyboard. So the first one is an input character. The second one is an input string. So input character is uh, read by this getch function, which we have seen before, which is the uh, blocking statement we have seen in previous uh, codes here we have used it just to halt the process so basically it blocks the process execution waits for a user input a key press so that's the get ch function and it actually takes an user input we we can store that in variable and use it later the second version is um, string input which is get str and the safer version of it is get n str. So uh, I'll get to get str, get n str later, but let's demonstrate get ch function here first. So uh, what I want to do is my program will uh, take user input as long as user uh, does not press an enter button. So when the user presses an enter, the process the program will terminate and before it happens the program will keep saying in the terminal or keep printing in the terminal what the user has uh, pressed what what key press has been has happened so let's get to it so I have my uh, header file included here and my main function here let me add the uh, return statement so that I don't forget that and now let's wor let's get to the main work so first first thing first i'll have my incursor session initiated and ended so that uh so now i'll write my incursor codes in between init scr and end win all right so the first thing that i want to do is i want to keep a variable and uh Let's say a variable which is an integer so get ch function when we want to store the value of get ch we want to have it stored in a uh, in a in an integer variable all right now i'll try to read uh this uh, user input so I'll, I'll i'll go through a loop let me actually put a message first i'll say add str press any key to see in the terminal Oops. enter to exit all right and I'll refresh refresh okay now I'll run a loop here and what this loop will do let me type it down first ch equal to get ch as long as that's not new line so this is the this is the loop what it's doing is in my variable that i've declared here i'm taking the user input the keyboard key press a character and every time i'm doing that i'm checking is that an enter that is not okay let go to go to the loop body so I'm executing the loop as long as the user does not press enter so in the loop body I'll say I'll just output what the user have uh, pressed so I'll say you have pressed person C which is the uh, character the format specifier for a character right so CH and I'll add a new line here for better visibility and I'll have the refresh function so that I can see that in the standard uh, screen. All right, uh, I think that's it. That's it. Our our program we have a we have a variable. We are taking the user input and checking whether that's not a, that's an enter or not. As long as it's not an enter, we are printing what have been pressed. And at the end of that, when the user prints or uh, sorry, when when the user clicks enter. Or press the center in the keyboard the program terminates all right let's see that in the output so let me compile it first 
and in the compilation process I definitely need to add the in cursus library good no problem in there okay press any key to see in the terminal enter to exit so now if I press enter <laughs> I terminate it immediately but that's not my intention okay let's try with various keys so I'll press B I see that I'll press capital B I see that I'll press a I'll press capital A awesome it's working but the problem is every time I press on any key that gets the H function it is echoing the character first and then I see the actual uh, message that I have here so I don't want this first echo so Encursus has one magic function to disappear that pretty simple no echo it's basically saying okay I don't want get ch to echo what it's getting in the terminal I don't want that so that no echo function does the magic so if I uh, terminate the current session and just recompile it well in curses and run it again if I press B I don't see that echo there if I press capital B if I say a capital A this is all working and now I press enter awesome so that's working there's no echo remember that if we don't want to see what we have pressed then we want to if we don't the if we don't want to uh, if we don't want the user to see what he has pressed he or she has pressed we don't we the, the only function we need is no echo here all right, so there goes get ch. Now, if we want to see the get str and get an str, basically, what's the difference between get get str and get an str? So, um, I think it's um, well. So get str, uh, it takes a parameter which is the um, string, which is the buffer where we want to save the um, user input, and uh, that's it. So let's say uh, the, the, the character, the character array or the string variable that we have, it takes 32 characters, okay? And the user is going over 64, more than 32 characters. So there will be input overflow, right? And get str does not check that. So the programmer has to manually check that, where the user is pressing more than uh, the character, the program has uh, allocated for so that's that's a problem there so the safer version of get str is get in str where we have couple we have to provide or the uh, programmer has to provide couple uh, parameters which is the string or the buffer variable where we want to store the user input and then the size how many keystrokes the uh, program is expecting and get an str will make sure this function will make sure that uh, anything above the size will not be stored in a variable will not be stored in this buffer so that's the that's the difference the big difference uh, the safety and the other thing is uh, it's a very good thing is that get str it considers backspace as a character whereas get an str does not so we have more convenience using the get an str so I'll not be demonstrating get S get str because it's both of these are pretty much the same the difference I've already mentioned so let's see the get and str in action all right let me remove all this okay don't want that so let's say I want to take the user's first name um, yeah user's first name and user's last name two things so <coughs> excuse me I'll have couple um, arrays so character first name mm, okay I'll have a variable that says how many characters I want to have so size character last name there's another size okay now I wanna print a message saying your first name and I'll refresh and I will take the user input so get in str first the buffer where we want to save is f name my variable name here 
and then how many characters we are expecting we are expecting size minus one characters why minus one because we need one extra character here to store the null character the null the null character yeah right and in a string we definitely need the last character to be reserved for the null character so if we have a 32 character array we want to have 31 user input we cannot have 32 user input if we want 32 user inputs we need to have the size defined as 33 all right so add str i'll take the second input your last name i'll refresh and get an str the buffer is l name here so i'll put that here and same as before size minus one and after that i'll just print what the user has given me so full name or let's say pleased to meet you uh person this person this person this and it's better to use print w because i'm using format specifiers the first person this is f name the last one is l name all right and it's better to have a new line character here all right that's it but also i want to have the get ch here because i want to see that in that output in the out, out, output terminal otherwise the program will immediately end and i will not be able to see this line here okay let's run it let's compile it run it first name i'll say john doe <laughs> actually john and last name is doe and I, you saw here I have one extra space here that I took. That's why I see a couple spaces here, right? So that's pretty much it. We have seen both the uh, input functions, user input functions, get ch and get nsdr. Thank you.